Guys, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs once again. Let's get inside store number one, see what they got. Store number one, found them. Got an old Powerbilt 3 wood, Wilson Ultra 5. Looks like an old school baffler. Got a push cart here for 10 bucks. Looks like it's pretty much new in box. The box is all messed up. Probably sell that on uh, Craigslist, pretty good deal. Much better condition than this guy. Yeah, that one's looking a little crusty. That one looks a little bit more high end though. Ooh, look at this. Got an old slingshot iron. If they had a full set of these, that'd be a pretty good deal. Let's see if we see any other ones. Some fake Tommy Armors. No idea what these are. Full set of Wilson Ultra Tour? Yep, full set of Wilson Ultras. It's like a beginner set, probably about 15 or 20 years old. They've got three through pitching wedge. Not really worth that much, but if you're just starting out, this would be a good set yeah. to pick up. Graphite shafts. Uh, yeah, we're gonna look this thing up on Craigslist, see how much these are going for. New in box, could make some money on it. So we got a, a collapsible chipping uh, thing right here. Original retail price, $29.99. Not sure what they're asking for it, but it looks like it's still, that's pretty cool. Set this up in the backyard and have a little chipping contest. Let's see what they're asking for it. $1.99, definitely gonna pick that up. Might even sell this on Craigslist too. Probably get like 10 bucks for it. Or we'll just keep it. Second Goodwill, only two clubs, but it is a classic. Callaway, Warbird, Big Bertha. These things are awesome. These things still sell for like 15, 20 bucks on uh, eBay. I think this is a ladies one and those ones sell for more for some reason. The only other clubs in Arnold Palmer 4-iron. Old school McGregor bag. That thing's pretty sweet. Yeah. Huh. Probably throw that in the trunk, put your shoes in there or something. Yeah. How much is that? Five bucks. Meh. Found some other golf clubs over here. Looks like the rest of those are Arnold Palmer ones. Comes with a bag. Old Dunlop putter. But we got a uh, Sand Wedge Callaway Steelhead X14. Not worth that much, but for some reason we've sold a bunch of these kind of stuff. Just like older Callaway women's clubs. It sells really well, so. Not sure if we're gonna pick it up, but if you ever see them, might be worth uh, picking up and researching. Check this guys out. I was on my way back to the golf clubs and saw this Bell South Classic, new with tags. Old school little uh, sweater vest right here, pretty cool. Another find on the way back to the golf clubs. We found a row of golf shoes. Nike Zooms, got some foot joys, foot joys, a couple of Callaways and more foot joys over there. This place is loaded with uh, golf stuff. Hopefully the golf clubs are pretty good too. Made it over to the golf stuff. Got some head covers. Uh, $4.99. Oh, here's a whole set of uh, Golden Bear irons. Not really worth that much, but if you're just starting out, pretty good set. I think these are the woods to them now that I think about it. Yeah, Golden Bear shafts. Look at the rust patina finish on that, guys. You can barely read it. Yeah, I don't, it's an old Dunlop Gold Tour. It's got like a leather grip. I'm not sure what kind of shaft that is, guys. Let me know. It doesn't feel like wooden. It might be like fiberglass or something. Painted too. Yeah, I'm not really up on my old vintage clubs like I should be. Well, we're gonna be soon. Yeah, gonna be soon. This is like a ping putter. That's a weird shaft though. Oh yeah, ping pal fort. This is a good find, guys. I love old ping putters. I still use a ping 2X at uh, certain times, and this one's definitely in good shape. I'm gonna pick this one up just for my collection. Pretty good condition Lampkin grip. Heavy hybrid. sole five hybrid, I don't know. Never seen that before. Old alien wedge. What is this? Another full set of Spaldings. I think the uh, find of the day might be this Ping Pal 4. Cool USF shirt. Like a training shirt, I'm guessing. <laughs> cool. I've been looking for another Sunday bag because Ashley has claimed mine as her own. And uh, one of our subscribers, I think his name is Civic something. Uh, yeah, he recommended looking at the luggage to find them. Check it out. Pretty sweet luggage, though. Yeah. Uh, you see one, Ash? Nope. Getting taken out. Avalanche. Yeah, I don't see one. We'll look at the next one, see if we find anything yet. Not a winner here, guys. We got a square driver, a kid's square driver, $1.99. It's got its little bag, not worth much, but. This is the most fishing poles I've ever seen at a Goodwill. We are right by St. John's River, so that makes sense, but there's gotta be like 30 fishing poles. Dang, guys, this place has a ton of golf clubs. Let's see if there's anything good in here. 
Let's start the putters as always. What is that? Put the uh, price tag over it. What we got going on over here. Square two. No. Ashley has found us another pull or push cart. Hmm. Definitely a ton of clubs. Old school tailor made burner. Olimar VT Pros. They look like they'd be pretty uh, forgiving, but not worth anything, I don't think. Doesn't look like we got any winners here, guys. Look at this vintage camcorder. Roll up to the course with that. Be pretty sweet. Oh, we found a glove. Here we go. 99 cents. That looks like your size, too. Yeah. This is an expensive glove, too. The Players <laughs> Flex Titleist. Can't see how much it originally was. Yep. Women's regular. That feels fancy. That is too fancy a glove for you, Ash. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, we found something golf related in here, so it's not a complete bust. Look what I found, guys. New inbox. This is like what? Our fourth new inbox thing. Got the gloves, the pull cart, that uh, chipping thing, and now we have some NXT Tour golf balls. Not really worth that much, but why are people giving away all of this new inbox stuff? It's crazy. I don't know. Ashley, your thoughts. New inbox. Good deals for us. Yep, got this old school easy grip thing. It looks like uh, you can replace your grips without having to do uh, a lot of work. Although it's not really that hard to replace your own grips. $3.99, definitely doesn't have 13 grips in it anymore, but uh, pretty cool, I've never seen this before. Oh, here's the directions. Remove old grip, open foil packet, slide on new grip. That actually is a lot easier than the current process. Wonder why this didn't uh, catch on. The tip has paid off, guys. I went and looked in the luggage, like the, I can never remember what his, the, his handle is, but Civic. He's got like a picture of a Honda Civic as his uh, profile picture. Found this awesome OGO bag. These things are actually really expensive and really nice. Probably sell this on Craigslist for, I don't know, 30 bucks, $4. That is pretty sweet. This might actually become my bag, depending on how light it is. Color scheme, meh. Looks like Ashley found herself a new shirt. Nice yeah, it is a nice looking <laughs> shirt. Go. Yep. Cool. I got a closet full. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look what we got here. A mongoose through. I'd never heard of that. Uh, this is our last Goodwill stop of the day. Pretty awesome so far, if you ask me. Really enjoying it. Let's I got see. A new purse. Yeah, you got a new purse, you got a... That's my golf bag, you're not stealing that. <laughs> AJ Spalding put... I've actually seen these before. These actually go for quite a bit of money. Like 20 bucks or something like that. Had some good luck with old school putters. Yeah. I don't think that's the original grip though. Usually it's leather. This might be a remake. Guys, let me know if you think this thing is worth anything. We got some golf balls. Uh, looking kind of crusty. $6. It's probably about... 50 cents worth of golf balls in there. Hitting golf club. Hitting golf club. Ooh, that's a wishing. Grip. That's oh. an interesting golf club. This is a wishing uh, four iron. These things are pretty sweet. They're like a, a custom build kind of thing, like KZG or something like that. These are supposed to be like really soft forges. So uh, it's got a pretty good grip. I think this got like a rifle shaft on it. I might get this just to try them out because I've never been able to hit them. Usually you have to go in for like a custom fitting at like a mom and pop kind of golf store. That's where they sell these, but it looks pretty sweet. someone hit it. Yeah, someone definitely hid this. Might pick this up just to try it out. Found a secret hidden stash of golf clubs back here. This must be good. What is this, Super Predator? It's like Lynx, I think. Haven't seen those in a long time. Got a Crow Flight? Guys, let me know if you know what that is. A crow flight. Bunch of some crusties. Oh, here's a another one of the Spalding clubs. Again with a metal shaft. I think these are. This doesn't look like a remake though. This looks pretty legit old. Guys, let me know if I should pick this up. This uh, Goodwill is actually pretty close to our house, so we might be able to come back here. Let me know in the comments if I should pick this up. It's pristine condition. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, pretty good looking old. Oh, here's another one. Another Spalding club. Might be able to lot these up and get some money for these. Not sure. Someone definitely likes Spalding. Oh, there's a Spalding. Yeah, Spalding two wood, Spalding driver. Huh. Pretty interesting. Definite, definite pickup. You can rock this on the golf course. That could be a challenge. 
it would be a challenge for me to fit into it, so it's basically <laughs> going to be yours. All right, guys, there you have it today. Let us know if you like all these thrifting videos. Give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.